Okay, so what we need to talk about today is linear modeling. It's this entire problem. So one problem takes up the entire page. The main idea is that you're looking at a real life situation. You're going to write a linear model. So you're going to write the equation of a line. And then you're going to use it to figure out some pieces of information. So if we look at example number one, it's cricket chirps. The rate at which a cricket chirps is a linear function of temperature. At 59 degrees Fahrenheit, a cricket chirps 76 times per minute. At 65 degrees Fahrenheit, a cricket chirps 100 times per minute. First thing we have to do is define our variables. We're going to use x and y. We have to figure out what is going to be x and what is going to be y. In this case, we are given two pieces of information, temperature and cricket chirps per minute. Which of those makes sense as the x? Do we know how to determine which is x and which is y? No, no. no. OK. x affects y. So are we saying that the temperature affects the number of times a cricket chirps? Yes. yes. Or is it the cricket chirping that affects the temperature? temperature? That doesn't make sense. The temperature affects the cricket chirps. So the temperature, x, affects y. So x is going to be the temperature. in degrees Fahrenheit. For y, please do not just write cricket chirps. We need to be more specific. What should I write instead of just cricket Number chirps? chirps? Number of cricket chirps. And I'm going to put per minute. So then we have two ordered pairs. First ordered pair. At 59 degrees Fahrenheit, the cricket chirps 76 times per minute. Second ordered pair, at 65 degrees Fahrenheit, the cricket chirps 100 times per minute. So C, determine the linear equation relating temperature to number of cricket chirps per minute. Before we can write an equation of a line, what do we need to do? Find the slope. So that's the first thing we're going to do, find the slope. So we have y minus y, so I'm going to do 100 minus 76 over x minus x, which is 65, subtract 59. 100 minus 76 is 24. 65 subtract 59 is 6. So we get a slope of 4. Now we need to write the equation of a line. What form are we going to use? Point slope or slope intercept? Point slope. Which point would you guys like to use? The first one or the second one? Second one. Second one. OK. So we're going to do y minus 100 equals m, which is 4, times x minus 65. In class, normally I would say leave it in that form. That's fine. I'm going to tell you now, though, it is much easier to do these problems if this is in slope intercept. So if I wanted to convert this to slope intercept, what would I do? Distribute the 4 and move the 100 over. If you do that, you get y equals 4x minus 160. If you left your equation as this top one in point slope, that's fine. I'm not going to take off. It's just harder to work with. Before we go on to part D, I have a question for you. What does this slope mean to us? So what is the meaning of that slope? Okay, so this is like 4 over 1. Slope is the change in y over the change in x. So this is saying when x changes by 1, y changes by 4. Now, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to us, or we don't really care a whole lot about that. We care about the context. So in this case, when the temperature increases by 1, what happens? Chirps increase by 4 times per minute. So every time the temperature goes up by one, the cricket is going to chirp about four more times every minute. Did you guys know that this actually is a relationship? This data is not made up. Like there really is a linear relationship between temperature and the number of times a cricket chirps. Dad well, never sure. like recorded that. Like I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go on. D. 
Use your equation to predict the number of cricket chirps when the temperature is 79 degrees. That's 79 degrees, what is that? X. X. So it's asking you to find X, find Y rather, when X is 79. So using that equation above, we're gonna do four times 79, subtract 160. I don't know what four times 79 is. 316. 316? Yeah. Whoa. Minus 160. 156. So we get 156. I will not accept an answer of 156. 156. Chirps per minute. Yeah, please put units on this. Okay, one thing I want to point out to you, did you read the word predict here? This is just a prediction. Okay, so do you think that when it's 79 degrees, every single cricket chirps 156 times a minute? No. No. It's about the average. It's the average. That's what we're talking about. Okay, use your equation to predict the temperature. So we are finding X when a cricket is chirping 44 times a minute. That's Y. So in this case, we are given Y. We're finding X. Using your equation, this time you're plugging in for Y. If I add that 160, I get 204 equals 4x. Dividing by 4, I get x equals 51. What are the units on that? Degrees Fahrenheit. Degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, none of that should have been super new to you. F and G, though, are by far the two most difficult parts of this problem. Explain the meaning of the temperature intercept in this equation. Okay. Ignoring the word temperature, if I ask you for the x intercept, what is the x intercept? Where the point hits the x axis. Where right. Where y is zero. Do you guys remember that? X intercept is where y is zero? Yep. Yes. Okay. So temperature intercept means that the other variable, which in this case is chirps, is zero. So if I'm asking for the temperature intercept, the other variable is zero. So I'm looking for x where y is zero. How would I find that point? Yeah, set y equal to zero in your equation. So we get y equals 4x minus 160. You could graph it. We're not going to, but you definitely could. Adding that 160 over, we get 160 equals 4x. So x equals 40. So our temperature intercept then is the point 40 comma zero. Not only do we have to find it, we have to explain what that point means. So what does that point mean? Zero degrees out. What does your x represent? Oh, sorry. Temperature. Flip that. Flip that. Okay, so say it again. Uh, yeah, exactly. When the temp is 40 degrees Fahrenheit, the cricket chirps. Zero times per minute. Again, this is just a prediction. Now, why would the cricket be chirping zero times per minute? It's too cold. It's too cold. Or dead. It could be dead, yes, because it's too cold. Okay, so part G. Explain the meaning of the number of chirps intercept. So number of chirps intercept means the other variable, in this case temperature, is going to be zero. So for the intercept, you have to remember it's always the other variable that's zero. In this case, how do we find y? Set x equal to zero. Set x equal to zero. Y is equal to negative 160. Yep, y is equal to negative 160. So this is the point zero comma negative 160. So again, we care about what that means. What does that mean to us? Zero degrees out. It chirps the negative amount of cold. Yeah, it doesn't keep going. 160 times. Okay. It doesn't it chirp. Negative amount of times. When the temperature negative 
is zero degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to say we predict the cricket to chirp negative 160 times per minute. Now, does that make sense? No. No. Doesn't mean we did anything wrong. It just means that practically this point does not have much significance to us. Yes. Do we have any questions? No. This is going to be in the quiz. Yes. When's our quiz? Thursday. 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 It's on the board.